Hey folks, welcome to another episode of Team Brothership. Uh, as always, I'm Mike, joined here by uh, my brother Paul and my good friend John. And today we're playing Donkey Kong Country because we tried a bunch of other things and they just failed and it's getting late and we're all tired and Donkey Kong Country was something that we could all agree on and that seemed to work with our setup. Pretty much. <laughs> Although, as I'm standing and confidence inducing <laughs> opening, I mean, that's yeah, that's pretty... here we go, everybody. It's monkey time, so get ready to get bananas. All right, here we go. Here we go. Um, woo! All right, I'm gonna go into this okay. cave. I'm sure this will be great in it here. Oh no. Oh, oh. That, that's how I feel. That all the expression time, you're seeing on Donkey Kong is Mike trying to set up his recording equipment. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but here's Mike remembering that there's a one up in Donkey Kong's house. Oh, man. Even with that, that's still not enough for me to beat the first level. <laughs> that's true. When, when we were. Oh, and it's like a secret way up here is where all the good stuff is. Uh, um. Wait a minute, you've played this before? <laughs> Maybe. You should just play this entire level with him in the barrel. Oh. <laughs> I don't think I can, because I think if I'm going to get... Oops. If I'm going to get all the secrets, i got to be able to roll, and you can't roll if you're carrying a barrel. Uh, uh, damn it. There's, it's tricky, but y if you can get up to that, that third tree, there's like... You can just run around at the top of the, the trees for the whole level, and there's like a bunch of one-ups. It's and... easier to make those long jumps with Diddy. Oh, that's a good call. Uh, what's the button to switch? There we go. You do the cartwheel off, and then Yeah, you... that's yeah, right. Yeah, there we go. Although I'll miss the Kong. There's the one. Oh. I don't remember a single thing about oh, any it. game I've played in the past 10 years, other than the Souls franchise. But I remember literally every video game I played as a kid. I mean, I would say that's probably pretty typical of ooh, don't hit that guy. That's probably pretty typical of most people. I I definitely have a ooh, let's hit the beaver. Um, I definitely have a much more intricate uh, memory of like Chrono Trigger and a um, uh, Secret of Mana and that kind of stuff than I do. Um, like any of the recent Tales games, or nah, I'm not going that way. I think we're done, folks. Oops. Oh, man. <laughs> Oops. Here, I'll carry this bucket for a while. Perfect. Just throwing coconuts at me. You gotta throw it against the wall. Well, not anymore. Which wall? Where's the. Well, there's another bucket right here. This wall? Nope, the other wall. <laughs> I was gonna say, usually like, <laughs> usually they'll have a kind of um, uh, Zelda style like crack in them. I do remember that. No, the Kraken is from a different game. <laughs> the Kraken is from the game. Uh, You're thinking of the Pirates movie now. Okay. <laughs> I was thinking of um, uh, oh, there that we go. Ball. I don't know how many times that little area where you like, you, there's like a little hole. I've just ridden that rhino right off the cliff into that hole. Yeah, that sounds about right. Um, yeah, that's right. A little free life. Um, I was thinking of the congratulations on spelling. <laughs> See, this is one of those edutainment games that you hear about sometimes. What you didn't know was that Donkey Kong was actually one of those like spelling games from when you were a kid. You gotta go back. Why? What did I miss? You missed the secret underground. No, now you accidentally turned it tonight. Turn around. Keep going back. Here? Right oh, alright. Wow, okay, you do have a more intricate memory of uh, the stuff. Oh man, the slot machine. I think I can probably do this. Yay, I did it. Oh, man. Got three, uh, two ostriches. Two solid gold ostriches. 
I think that's what they give you. When we get you... three solid gold ostriches, you can turn them into one real ostrich. Man, that'd be great. Just like real life. Yeah. <laughs> Go up here. I probably can, but I don't want to lose my rhinoceros. I know there's like a bunch of other one-ups and stuff along the top, but I... I oh, look, they're nice. doing the victory dance. That's what I do each day at the end of work. <laughs> Yeah, no, I... <laughs> That's why you haven't gotten a promotion in 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> it all makes sense now. Well, this isn't that crappy level where, like, the lightning bolts hit, right? That's the other game. Wait, what? Isn't there one of these Mike's games... talking about a dreamy one time. <laughs> Ooh, I just killed an armadillo by accident. It's like driving in Texas. I probably needed that barrel for something. Oh, damn it. Come on. Uh, right this, off a cliff. Yeah, I killed his friend, so he's out for revenge now. Oh. <laughs> so he killed there my he friend. And it's real, It's very biblical uh, in Donkey Kong Country. Uh, it's like eye for an eye. Donkey Kong, if you're on a tree, some of the trees, you can slap the uh, tree to get bananas out of them. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, that's right. Um... It's funny that a world. Yeah. Oops. It's is it the two for tree? Yeah. There we go. It's the like that's the pears. Yeah. I don't remember. No, no, they're bananas. I, I, pears. <laughs> oh, you beat me to the joke. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> it is kind of funny that I'm on the controls today for this, since I feel like Paul, this was usually your game when we were kids. There was something about like, like monkeys were like your thing. Oh, oh, damn it. Oh, oh, oh. Kill Donkey Kong now. Ooh, dynamite, though. Because I think there's another hole that we want to bust open, right? Yeah. Oh, crap, but I do want that barrel. Oh. <laughs> Where is it? It's one of those walls. Not that I one. I don't remember. You, well, now, now it's not in one of them. Yeah, it's not that one either. I mean, I definitely, I beat this game when we were kids, but it was definitely like, the monkey games were Paul's thing. I wasn't allowed yep. to, I wasn't allowed to claim ownership of monkey related things. <laughs> and I was just as bad at them as I was every other video game. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> Oop, hold on a second. What the hell? What the heck's going on? I don't know, it got all choppy there for a second. Oh, my God, TV, yeah, my TV cut out for a second. We're realizing that that I may have been sold a a raw uh, a poor bill with my recording equipment today. So <laughs> maybe swapping that out at some point. How the hell do you get that thing? Do you have to jump between these trees? Oh, hey, there well, we go. Go jump up the mountain. Oh, I guess I could do that, but I also found the secret bucket game. Alright, I was pretty good at this one, too. Now, remember to get the one that has the banana, not the other ones. Yeah. The balloon. <laughs> <laughs> I know how it works. I know how the cup game works. I lost a lot of money. Those are to... barrels, they're not cups. <laughs> Way different. I, I understand. I lost a lot of money to that guy in the subway station. Oops. There we go. There we go. I you can spell it. again. Yep. This guy's gonna kill me as soon as I go down there. It's like Dark Souls. It's way to the bottom of the ladder. Like a real jerk. Alright, now we're gonna spend the rest of this video just talking to Cranky Kong, because he's really the best part of this game. I'm signing off. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good night, everyone. I, th I think uh, I think he's just saying words. <laughs> now he's talking about spring break. Isn't oh. that in that Marrakesh video? <laughs> yeah. All right. Oops. Come on. Let's go into the Aren't cave. There are there bosses in this? I don't even remember. Yeah, the first one, yeah. the bosses are real crappy, though. Oh. 
Is it is the boss only at like the end of like the set of levels? Is that how yeah. That works? Yeah. I don't remember. If... Oh. I guess you can't I jump think on. They're it. all just big normal enemies. Too. Right. Which is basically big alligators. Um. No, they're they're not yeah, actually beavers and birds. No. Oh. Yeah, they're not actually the reptites. It's the it's the other animals. But you wonder why? Like, I understand why the the reptiles. Damn it. I understand why the reptites are fighting you because there, there's some kind of weird ape lizard race war going on. But um, I don't know why all of the other animals are also hostile to Donkey Kong. I, I have they're to interrupt. Just regular one wild animals. <laughs> Like, that. I don't know if you know this, but if you just go out and mess with wild animals, they'll mess with you back. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but, like, I can walk past, like, a woodchuck without it uh, uh, just going bonkers and attacking me. Have you tried yeah, but recently? these guys exist in a 2D plane. They can only go at each other or away from each other. Once you're going at each other, it's all hostile. Well, I guess that sort of makes sense. It's like a real flatland situation. Um... What were you gonna say, Paul? Oh damn it! I knew I was gonna. Oh. Hit that. I was saying that I uh, that uh, area where you went to like the barrel, you know, explosion. Um, what are they called? The yeah, you went from like one barrel, barrel to the next barrel. Yeah, yeah. yeah that that was totally. There was like this one guy who didn't really know how to program very well, and like, dude, he needs to do something. So they just gave him that. <laughs> so you could feel important. Exactly. You know, it's it's kind of like one of those uh, the the pipe it was like old game we played as on dad's computer as a kid pipe dream or something you know connect all the pipes oh, that yeah. the water flow through yeah it's like that, that. A, you just hook up all the barrels that was a pretty fun game though I actually read an article about that like two days ago and somebody was talking about why pipe dream was one of the best NES games that was an NES game there was an NES version it was one of those oh. ones that was like everywhere. Now we're, we're, we're the best level in the game. I was gonna say we're mixing all the things right now. This is Ace of Seafood here. Yeah, John, how come you don't have any apes in your aquarium? That seems like an oversight. Uh, because they're illegal now. <laughs> that makes sense. Oh, is this one of the? I think there's like a yeah. All oh, secrets. Secret bananas. See, now what you don't uh, know... A little is... point for our uh, listeners out there. Secret bananas are the best ones to get at the grocery store. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when, when you're in the grocery store and you just see that one banana kind of like sitting awkwardly on the at the back of the shelf, just try to walk through that wall and you'll find all of like the tastiest bananas. They have that flavor that went extinct back in the 50s. Yes. I was pointing down, but... The uh, swordfish is down there. Oh, all right. I do want him. Yeah, that was like swordy or something. What the hell was his name? <laughs> swordy the swordfish. <laughs> Stabby. Named by George R. R. Mar. It was named by... Uh, <laughs> a few people know that all the characters in Donkey Kong Country were named by George Lucas when he was drunk. <laughs> Where the hell did the one up go? It's a balloon that floats away. It could not have floated away that fast. It, apparently, it just did. I call <laughs> so it can. I call shenanigans. That's it. Start over. <laughs> this is yeah. an all balloon run. Here's a little sea fact for everybody out there. Uh, those piranhas that Mike was killing don't actually uh, survive in salt water. Well, that's why I was just putting Maybe. them out of their misery. You gotta get Donkey Kong on the second one. Can you get them? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's gonna be gone when I go back, though, probably. Let's see. Sorty number two. It's his, it's his brother, Sorty Jr. Oh, he's still there. How does... Alright. How do you swap off, then? I don't think you can get two of them on at a time. Unless I'm forgetting something, John. You gotta remember to plug in your Game Genie for that one. Oh, okay. 
Well, I don't know if the Game Genie works for the SNES Mini. Now, are you on Sony or Nintendo? Nintendo. <laughs> yeah, that was, a, that was a key thing of the uh, SNES. Ooh. Oh, Did the oh. SNES have Game Genie as well, or was that like oh, yeah. Shark or some other thing? I'm pretty sure even the PlayStation... Oh, it's this thing again. It's where they just let you run around like an oh, idiot. Oh, man, as an ostrich. See, John was right. You got three ostriches and get a real ostrich. Yeah, I knew he was telling the truth. I thought he was just making shit up like it was like in real life. Like you got a real like the creators of Donkey Kong just came to your door and gave you an ostrich. It's like Bart's uh, elephant thing from The Simpsons. Where they, the radio you station. You with this guy. Oh, that makes a big difference. Do I have to actually get to the end to keep all these, or do I just keep collecting until I'm done? I can't I think, remember. Think, now that you say that, I think you do. Uh, well, I don't think I can go any further than this, so I think there's, I just... There's a big one someplace. That is true. Or something. Well... No. Yeah, I think they've worked just like extra bananas. It's like in real life. Yeah, golden statues and bananas have approximately the same value. <laughs> yeah, they sent me way back, too. That's kind of annoying. Maybe you can get that one up again. No, I don't feel like going that far back. Wasn't it right there? Um, well, fair pro No, it's not here. It's a little bit further back. Yeah, okay. You you'll survive without that single one up. <laughs> Fast forward 10 here? hours, we're fighting King K. Rule, and it's like, ah, oh, we just need one life! <laughs> yeah, I think it was back over here. Oh, man. There's John's nice... remembering all these crazy things from, like, 20 years ago. I can't even remember where you were just a minute ago. <laughs> well, your memory's going to improve, Paul, if you stop huffing glue like we keep telling you to. <laughs> but it's so good. He's, he saw Airplane as a cautionary tale. You did eat an awful lot of Play-Doh when we were kids, and that's got to come back and bite you at some point. It did, and Remy's following my footsteps. <laughs> that is That does seem to be true. You just... I, you can't ever give her silly putty, though, or you're going to be cutting it out of her <laughs> hair for the next 15 years. God. <laughs> Dad, your silly putty ruined my prom. <laughs> oh, hey, there's an inn up here. Ah. It's the, the real Donkey Kong thing. It's a con. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. TV cut out again. Shoddy recording equipment. Don't, don't say the name of it just in case you know we get sponsorship later on yeah <laughs> yeah seems likely <laughs> ah just like every undersea cave has a nice exit sign right. oh man crazy kong or hippie kong or what the hell was his name <laughs> crazy hippie kong funky, it's funky kong. kong funky kong he called us dudes oh man and he's got a spirit airplane above him Spirit air. <laughs> like the way that she said it, it was like the most heartwarming thing to have happened to you in quite some time. <laughs> you know, it's that kind of familiarity. All right, that's enough talking to this gentleman. He's repeating himself. Um, you know, it's it's the the pandemic has really pulled us all apart, and it's it's nice having those moments of coming together again. I'm just gonna skip this whole level. Nice. I don't think you skip the whole level. I just think you skip like yeah, like half of it. Now I'm gonna land. Oh damn it! I should have kept spinning. Yeah, jump down there. Jump down here. The bananas are. Yeah. Follow those bananas. No, see, I think that was. <laughs> they were trying to send us up. <laughs> Normally, you do want to follow the bananas, just like in the supermarket, but um, that particular <laughs> set of them, I'm pretty sure was yeah. We were supposed to hit those on the way up. They, now we're glad we got that went back for that balloon. That's true. Ooh, we would have been totally screwed without that. Oh, nice golden rhino. Alright, can 
can get it. Mm, we killed that guy too, so I don't think we can get up in the trees from there. I bust this thing. That looks like a spot I can open up potentially. Uh, that one. Nope. What was the other one? How? There's nothing there though. Is there another bucket? Um, not anymore. Mm, damn it. You get one shot with those. Throw yourself off the cliff to the bananas. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh it, there it is. It's one of these. No. One of these two? This one. If you go under this guy, like the... Um, it's going to be really hard. You go enough. under this guy and then turn around and throw it backwards. Nope. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> it's very deceiving. Oh, damn it. Okay, hold on, hold on. There we go. I think I missed some. Oh no, there's the end, so we're we're on track. That's some good camera work, guys. The way I couldn't see where I was landing. Alright, right into the B. Nice. That's useful. That was a close one. Yeah. That sucks. Here they Come go on, again, man. giving Larry a job. <laughs> we need you to make connecting barrels. I'm pretty sure there was a hole. I, I'll admit, I kind of uh, jumped off the Donkey Kong Country train at some point, but wasn't there some Donkey Kong game that it was just literally like you're blasting yourself through those barrels like that? Like, and that's the whole game. Uh, I don't remember. I think it was Probably called the auto fire barrels. So what? You press the start button and <laughs> it just fires all of them, and you beat the game. Well, you, you know how you hear a lot about like people don't like hard games anymore. <laughs> Is this flirty Kong? Yeah. Can't can't candy Kong? Yeah. I, I do kind of want to save. Yeah, thank you. I would like to do that, please. Nine percent. Nice. Eighteen minutes. All right. You're never gonna beat the beat the speed record of twenty. <laughs> Damn it. All right. Here's your first boss. Oh man. It's this idiot. I don't know how I'm gonna beat him. This idiot. <laughs> he gets faster. Oh, oh my god. That oh man. Brutal. My dog did that this morning. Peeled over unconscious, so, and then a giant banana fell out of the ceiling. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. If, if you saw in the background there, that's clearly an entire lifetime's worth of bananas that you just won. Like, Donkey Kong should just stop right now. See, th this is, uh, I don't know if either of you have watched any of my Final Fantasy Let's Plays, but this is where I start getting into how, like, you know, these, these Super Nintendo games are really all, um, the subtle critiques of capitalism and how like you just you just keep keep wanting more and it doesn't matter how many coins or or bananas or you know sacred relics you accumulate you, you always need more hey there's a frog up there the super nintendo games were a lot more uh, political than than we thought as kids Old Flippy. Yeah. There's a bucket. I th Ow, Slippy. damn it. I thought I could. I think I could have killed that with him, too. Eh, I don't like this guy. Ooh, secret. Uh, how do I... Um... This seems problematic. Need the frog. frog. Oh, the frog! Damn it! Ooh, I probably need him to get that golden thing too. Not the G. That's right. Oh, you the know real what? G is always in reach. <laughs> I enjoy the toxic beaver barrels. <laughs> they were my favorite uh, mid '90s grunge band. 
Oh boy. All right. See, here's where we need those balls oh, for. Buying cart. I might need to take that barrel. These, this is the best part of this game. Yeah, everybody loved the minecart levels. And how I mean, I was terrible at them, but it was like the best part. No, they were definitely the worst part. They're really? Like, I always liked them. I, I, like I said, I was terrible at them, but I always thought they were really fun. They're like the turbo tunnel from Battletoads. Oh, you could have got that. Yeah, I'm not going to waste my time. That save point, though. That all important save point. Oh no. Oh, come on! I missed that. I'm gonna miss this. Oh, damn it. Yeah, I definitely. This one's not that bad, but some of the later ones are genuinely awful. Maybe that's because this was the only one I ever got to. <laughs> Maybe. It wasn't that bad. <laughs> Paul was a big fan of when we were little kids, having me play video games for him. Ow. And then when I would beat them, uh, claiming that since I was playing for him, he technically beat the game. That's a good move. I mean, that sounds valid. <laughs> well, I mean, if you had a company and you had an employee do something for you, the company's the one that wins, right? Exactly. Same principle. So you're saying that I was a, a I was a contractor for my little brother you, in that situation. You were an agent. You were his agent under the circumstances. So the victories lie with him. Uh, come on. All right. <laughs> <laughs> there was literally no way for me to avoid that because I didn't touch the track with enough time to actually jump. A likely excuse. That's why we got all those balloons. Yeah. And like I said before, I still stand by it that this is the easiest of the... Um... There we go. I remembered that. Uh, this is the easiest of the, like... I don't know, three or maybe four minecart levels. That is such BS. It's okay. I'm like having a heart attack over here because it's a little slow on my side, so every time I see you jump, it's like he's missing it. Well, no, it, it is kind of staggered. Oh, is it? Oh, come yeah, on. There. There's one oh, guy, Jesus. I think there's like one, yeah, thank you. That last asshole. <laughs> yeah. I knew, I remembered, I remembered the rage from childhood. I just, I just realized this is, this is a perfect game for us too, because it's like, you know, Donkey and Diddy Kong are basically brothers. Even though they're, they're two different species. Mm -hmm. It's, that's close enough. Wow, that was stupid. What was your plan there? Like Ryan Phillippe said in Way of the Gun, a plan is only a series of events that don't happen. What the hell is this even here for, then? There's probably some secret barrel behind yeah, stalagmites. Yeah, there's always a yeah. secret barrel. Oh. I think you needed to roll it in the other direction to yeah, get to a secret. Probably. Mm -hmm. That sounds right. That sounds like this game is kind of nonsense. I say, throw it under the... Nope. Well, Where? it's not TNT. I'm holding on to this one. Ooh. Ooh, that's a hole right there. Oh, I have to get rid of it now. There we go. Yeah, but I think I still want this. You always want the tire. Uh, is, there the, is the thing under this, or is it... Go up. Don't lose your tire. Uh, is that a, a wall I can jump through? Yes. Whoa. Oh. Nice. 
secret exit. Oh, there's the frog, and that looks like some... Uh, no, that was just my, my own score. The frog doesn't always make all situations easier. No. Most of the other animals are, like, a definite plus. Uh, the frog definitely has some questionable moments. Yeah, but you can bounce on bees. That's a plus. Yes. Does he kill them? Yes. Mm -hmm. That's good. I mean, that it's like all frogs. Natural enemy of bees. That's why God made them. <laughs> He saw those bees and he just said, These folks are too cocky. <laughs> Going around. Man, if I had only known that as a kid. <laughs> That's true. Paul, notorious uh, stinger of bees. Or, sorry, stingy. Alright, we gotta time this just right. It's gotta be surgical. Shut up, Donkey Kong. You're distracting me. Oh, perfect. This isn't even that good of a secret area. I'm bananas. I mean, that's the whole reason that you're here. I guess. I felt like I had enough already. Like you said, that boss dropped a lifetime supply. Oh god, if this is another friggin' minecar thing, I don't... It Stop sounds... Go station. It sounds like it. This is with the red light, green light guy. Oh. Yeah. Yes. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, I don't remember this at all. Yeah, I vaguely do. I, I remember not liking this level, so... Yeah, Donkey Kong Country as a kid was, wow, World 1 is so much fun, and then you're dealing with this nonsense yeah. and mine carts and you're just like what has happened <laughs> oh Never mind. all Damn before it. you can save in level world two here yeah yeah this is thinking of this as like the barrier to the save point just makes it extra obnoxious and that that stop lasts for like two seconds Look at that, that's ridiculous. That's what happens when you do your own electrical work. <laughs> uh, yeah, that sounds about right. <sighs> nice. It's that old faulty uh, knob and tube wiring. Yeah. I don't- I think if you fall down there, you die. I think you have to do that weird, like, spin and then jump midway through. Alright. Yep, that's how you get it. Yeah, that was ridiculous. Ow. A useless N. Oh, come on. That looks fun. <sighs> Ridiculous. Almost there. I'm gonna regret that. Just go! No, I need the tire. Go. What a blast. Ooh, we can go save again. I can. <laughs> it's a real treat. <laughs> yes, thank you. <laughs> What's the next? How far are we from a boss? Because we've been going... Uh, Alright, two levels to get to the... Oh, only one. Alright, let's do this. Millstone Mayhem. This is a good level. It sounds like it. Thank you. 
middle one. Oh, but I got Diddy Kong back, my buddy. Yeah, but the middle one drops you so that you land in the barrel, so you can do it another time. Oh. Well, I can... Oh, that was a... Is this the... Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Perfect. Do I need it for the O? Is that what... That oh cripes. You got it. <sighs> that didn't feel like I should have had it. <laughs> oh boy. Oh man. Swordfish time. Bring That's on swordy. Hugh Jackman and Halligari. <clears throat> Two. It's the developer's favorite number. <laughs> this one doesn't feel quite as uh, lush as the ostrich one. Is this like that uh, high school prank where you let all the pigs loose in school and you label them one, two, and four? So they're just, they're always looking for pig three. Down here? Yes. Now, oh, there it is. There's there the big ones. Yeah. That did the trick. 650. Another six free lives. Do they give you one more for the last 50? No, they just give you the six. Alright. Back to this nonsense. Great. Alright, John, we're counting on you to remember where is that secret? Right there. Which one? Oh, there that we one. go. Oh, am I going to be able to remember this one? one of these two. I Damn it! Ah. Oh. Back to how I was feeling earlier today. Gee, all these guys are just trying to get out of this little hole area. <laughs> You're just killing them. Well, well in a sense, they're out now. <laughs> Another TNT bucket. Oh, snakes. Man. That barrel was just very disappointed. You found a better looking barrel. It was just like, screw you. I hope I didn't need that TNT for anything. And we're all always looking for a, a better barrel. Oh, jeez. Yay. Nice. It's the frog uh, again. Yeah, there he is again. Everybody's favorite. Hey, the camera actually adjusted correctly. Oh! Stupid well, frog. I can't blame that one on the camera. I can blame it on the frog, though. This wonky uh, animation. Oh, now I have to do this again, although I don't even want that stupid frog. That might have fallen off. Nope. Yeah, this is a crummy jump. Oh, come on! Did he jump faster, uh, farther because he doesn't have a is giant? I don't think it matters because you're you're on the frog, so. Nope. 
Oh no. Screw it. Oh. I see frog, that's how you actually do that jump. Oh, for Christ's sake. Oh, come on, I landed on him. Ugh. You would have been all right if you had the frog. <laughs> the frog is terrible. Don't be a slog. Get the frog. This is what I've been dreading all night, that one level that we just get hung up on forever. We still need to end this on a positive note. Here it goes. Well, you were positively killed by that millstone. Can you uh, jump from the edge there instead of pushing the thing all the way off? Yeah, you might be able to hit it from the edge. Uh, that seems very risky. I guess so. I don't think the frog can make this jump. Yeah, yeah go for it. No, maybe not. No, he definitely cannot jump from up top there. All right. Yeah. I get killed by this thing before. Mm. Now you got it. Oh, crap. Can you jump over him with the frog? Yeah. Yeah. I still don't like the frog's, like, janky animation. Yeah, he's like spastic. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Can I get back? Oh, I'm gonna get killed here again. Oh, screw it. Goodbye, frog. Oh, damn it. I'm gonna miss that frog. Come on, just let me be done with this wretched level. There we go. All right. Guess what? Nope. Not Ultra going. time. I'm going Ranky back time. first because I don't want to do that stupid level <laughs> ever again. You still have like 20 lives. So? I would have six or seven more if I hadn't had to do that stupid millstone level. Alright, this is it. Oh, nice. Oh, I thought that bounced higher. Nope. Can't do it that way. Necky's nuts? Are you allowed to say that on the internet? <laughs> Probably not if Pizza Pete was, uh... <laughs> yeah. YouTube's, uh... Do hot for YouTube. Was cracking down. Oh, come on. Is he gonna have to shoot a second one? Down here. <sighs> he's realized that I can't defeat him when he's up there. <laughs> come on. There we go. Ah, another. Epic clash comes to a close. What you realize is that's just a harmless flamingo. <laughs> he was he was choking. He was trying to get yeah. help. Exactly. Go back. There you go. What? Just save. Yep. All right. Well, we've been going for longer than we intended, just because of millstones. So, I think not we can... too much. It was like thirty-seven minutes. All right. Fair enough. That's not bad. I think we can wrap it up here, though. So, that was another trip down memory lane of team brothership. Varying and degrees apparent, of memory. I was going to say, apparently only you, yours and John's. <laughs> and this was definitely your game. You still own all, like, I, all three of those, don't you? The, I don't the, even remember this like this area, so I obviously never... Oh, we've been part. over to your house. <laughs> you have a whole Donkey Kong room over there. <laughs> the, the, the Kong Shrine. <laughs> uh, all right folks well thanks for joining us for this 
a frustrating late evening on a Friday <laughs> Donkey Kong Country session. Uh, so until next time, I've been Mike. And I've been Paul. And I'm John. Later, everyone. See, See ya. ya.